Good morning, everybody. And if you guys ever sing and think, yeah, damn, I'd sound good, and then, no, you can't sing. It's me almost every day. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. Um, I'm currently doing a mini cut, for those of you guys that don't know. I was trying to strip off some body fat before we start introducing anabolics. Um, I've lost, I've lost just over 2.5 kilos, I'm about 100 kilo flat, give or take a couple hundred grams, it was 100.1 this morning, 100.4 yesterday, um, so it is coming down, I've just pushed a little bit more food off now, so I'm creeping around 3,300 calories on training day, and about 2,200 calories on non-training day, um, and this is bringing my body weight and my body fat down pretty good, I feel very, very good, I feel so much better than when I was pushing that food in very, very high, um, my cardiovascular is better, my recovery is better, my overall motivation, my overall energy is better. Um, I was definitely pushing the boat out um, on that last push up um, for a very long time. So I'm feeling great. I've got two more weeks left of this. Um, so it'd be like four weeks in total. Hopefully move about four or five kilos in total. Um, and then we're going to introduce testosterone and anthonate, um, which you guys know I'll be splitting twice a week. Um, I'm not sure on the dose yet. I've just got all my bloods done by Medichex. For those of you guys that don't know, Medichex is a blood testing uh, service, private blood testing service. I can get you a discount with the code Josh Bridgman. Hashtag plug that shit. Um, but all seriousness, I've got a full video coming of my of my tests. I'm going to run through every single one of my results, my natural testosterone, where everything is without any kind of anabolics in there whatsoever. And then obviously I'll run another one with the anabolics in further down the line. Um, but I've got a full video coming on that that have my full discount code in there. Um, and it will just explain the importance of, of blood testing in general. But for now, guys, it's breakfast. So my current first meal is 30 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbohydrates, and about 5 to 10 grams of fat. So usually I go with a shake, cream of rice, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. But today I could not fathom stomaching cream of rice. So I just got a bagel. And I'm going to put a tiny little bit of honey on there just to get the, those carbohydrates up to 80. Um, I normally don't have any sugars in the morning, um, especially processed sugars. Um, the reason is I am actually out of everything. This is not a good start to, a, to, a, to, to eating in a video, is it? I don't have the normal stuff that I have, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to go down super easy. My appetite is so, so much better. Um, and I also do the daily gag, which I'll, which I'll do for you right now. So the daily gag... Uh, I do three sprays of this uh, DNK2 spray, as you guys can see there. This is a ravenous tablet, so it's like a digestive enzyme. This is my omegas, this is my vitamin C. These are my glucose disposal agents for my carbs. And I also do two of these, two pints of water. You like it, won't go. Mouvant du les intra. This is my uh, Flex magazine funnel. Pretty decent, actually. We do five grams of these, five grams of these, five grams of these. And finally, I put in some trace minerals. So, this is a really cool um, electrolyte supplement. Got plenty of electrolytes in it. Why can't I ever get this to fucking focus? It's block out the background, that's why. You know what? Fuck it. It's got electrolytes in it. This is my current uh, pre warehouse of choice. Mega pre. I normally want to scoop this, but I'm feeling quite naughty. So we think, we think I'm gonna double scoop this. But shout out to uh I'll just say a quick thank you to the boys uh inside supplements because they sent me this cool little uh, funnel. It's fucking freezing today, mate. So mixability so here's the thing, mixability on like good pre-workouts tends to be not like 100% mixable because there's a few little ingredients there which aren't like fully water soluble 
So there'll be little bits flying around. But you know what? They're nice. They're good little flavor pockets. Um, and it's needed. Like, if you want good, solid dose pre-workouts. Okay. And if you want good, solid dose pre-workouts, uh, you're going to have to sacrifice flavor, probably, a little bit. This isn't like the best pre-workout I've had in terms of flavor, but this is really, really good. Great stimulant, great focus. I find on this my energy just does not stop. Like I normally get to the end of, end of my end, end of my uh, sessions and I'm hanging. Um, I'm less hanging. I'm still hanging, but I'm, I'm, I'm less like fact. I also might have to do something to do with just like being a little bit fitter, um, being a little bit leaner as well. So that is also to note. This is the importance of variables, guys. Like, is it the new pre-workout making me feel great, or is it actually? Uh, the cardio I've been doing is it the less weight that I have is it the more efficient my body is you know who knows This is 100% my favorite exercise right now. So I just posted this, uh, why can't I ever focus on fucking things like this? Someone tell me. So I just posted this pic on Instagram, uh, and it's a competition. It's a competition for the, uh, for the company that I worked with, uh, for my blood test, my initial blood test before I started anabolics, um, Medichex. So if you guys want to enter, if you guys want to enter, find that picture on my Instagram. Um, maybe by the video, by the time this video has gone up, there'll be another post in front of it. But it'll be one of the last three three pictures. Um, so go on there, comment on there for two friends. Follow Medichex, follow me. Um, two friends who you think could benefit from a blood test. I can't extend how important blood tests are, um, whether you're natural, or whether you're using anabolics, or, or whatever you're using. Because for one, the, the stress that you put yourself under when your body build is pretty damn high. Um, you can affect hormones, and you may not even know that. Um, you might have vitamin deficiencies, you might have allergies, you might have all these different things and, you, and you, you don't know. And if you want to be optimal and you want to do the best that you can, I personally think it's 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 like a non-negotiable for me to get blood test done at least once a year, at least maybe twice a year if you're natural. Um, and more, way more if you're using anabolics. Every new compound, you know, that could have an effect on your lipids, it could have an effect on your, um, your blood pressure, it could have an effect on all of your blood results. Um, so regular, regular checkups when you're on cycle. So you can you can go on that, find that. Yeah, yeah. and and I think that's it. Where you start, and and, and that's not to say you. Uh, yeah. Ross Edgley, 
or an absolute animal. I do wonder if he's on steroids though. He is absolutely whammo. It's pretty impressive. I thought this would be a good opportunity to just quickly update you on where I'm at in terms of cardio. So cardio, I'm doing 30 minutes on my non-training days at 130 beats per minute. Uh, I tend to stray up a little bit above 130 beats per minute, about 140, just so I get a very good cardiovascular workout. It doesn't seem to affect performance, so I'm happy doing that. The only time that I would worry about cardio is if it starts to affect performance. Uh, performance is everything. Um, which is why I added in cardio for actually just for those longer sets those harder sets the heavier weight you get We joke about it, but like when you you know when you get heavier and, and you get more unfit You know your breathing gets heavier um, your ability to re recover becomes harder um, Which is why I have the cardio in there because I can recover better and I do I feel so much better Doing those higher rep sets. We're talking like 12 or 13 reps like I shouldn't be crazy out of breath like yeah Of course, I'm working hard but I shouldn't be like fucking tasting blood in my mouth and shit like that. That's when you know you've gone too far. Um, introduce the cardio, you'll feel great. Make sure it's away from training so you prioritize training. It's not too much about getting it fasted or non-fasted. It's just about getting it done and training your heart and working your aerobic capacity and working um, your heart. It's gonna help with blood pressure. It's gonna help with recovery. It's gonna help with moving oxygen, nutrients around your body. So you gotta get it done, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a little check-in of where I'm at. I... I have a full video tomorrow coming about the Medijex, maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, about my full results, so that'll be giving you my full breakdown of where I'm at naturally at this point in my life. I hope the testosterone is warm the last time. Peace, guys.